Hey guys, it's your girl Sarah here again, back with some more updates. Um, I really just wanted to make sure I checked in with you guys. Um, nothing too eventful has been happening to me over the last week. Uh, I kind of have a set routine down, and I actually really enjoy it. It's, uh, I don't really think it's that common to genuinely, like, just have this, like, deep appreciation for every little thing inside life. Um, I feel very fortunate for where I'm at right now. And I know that a lot of y'all, I know that a lot of y'all are struggling. <clears throat> and the most that I can say is don't give up on your dreams. Always do the right thing. Always do what you believe is right. Um, and try to find what you love doing. I know it's very difficult, but um, I believe in you, and you're not alone in what you're facing, even when it feels like it. So for what it's worth, it is very easy these days, even most of my routine is fairly isolated from people and it's in part because I have extreme social anxiety I'm almost always inside and I'm honestly I don't know why I'm scared of people or that I'm gonna do the wrong thing or that somehow I'm gonna be inside the wrong place at the and in part because of that I'm inside a lot, other than when I'm working. I go out at night walks, but even then I'm just scared. Freaking. That's just me. Um, I hope that, you know, someday it's it'll be easier, or, or, I don't know. One thing that I can say is for certain, is you do what you believe is right, is stick to working hard, having discipline. When I say discipline, I mean more like taking care of yourself. Because nobody else is gonna, you know, take care of you for you. Else can do that for you. Um, and it's, it's rough, but, um, I would say try to, try to find like a solid routine to fit what you want from your life. Figure, figure that out and then develop a routine around that. And saying all this is because this is going to have a story because <laughs> it is story time with Sarah. So one of the things that I used to say when I was at Side Marines is, I'd often make a habit when I'd come back home from work. I'd immediately go inside the smoke pit. Inside the smoke pit, there'd be multiple Marines that would gather around, and uh, usually you can socialize. It's very easy to socialize, or at least for me, it was very easy to socialize when I was inside Marine Corps. I would go inside the smoke pit. I would talk to all the other Marines, and then I would complain about how there's a big issue with a lot of youth and young Marines spending all their free time playing on their cell phone, uh, watching YouTube videos, going on Facebook. And then I would proceed, after my smoke, I would proceed to go back into my room and play on my cell phone, watch YouTube videos, and play video games. I also loved running. <laughs> But, um, in a nutshell, it really is true to a lot of modern day, I feel like. 
it's so easy to find knowledgeable resources and entertainment on the internet and uh, that's just me I mean they're, they're, everything has a, it's a double-edged sword though because you don't get that that nonverbal communication <laughs> I don't mean to sound old-fashioned. Again, I'm still not gonna be like going all out. I have tried. I have tried. I've been on the meetup groups. Um, it's just difficult for me, and I I don't know what causes it, but I have some mild social anxiety. And uh, for those of you out there who can get what I'm saying, um, you're definitely not alone inside that aspect. I hope that you are all having a wonderful day and taking care of yourselves, doing the best you can, always trying to do what's right. I believe in you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.